Portland place or thing. I am Kat. I am Amanda. And, uh, and this is our show. This is our show today. Uh, today we are appreciating our crew. We've been making this show for like, let's say two years. Yeah, that's a good number. Let's say two years. <laughs> and some people have come, some people have gone, some people never showed up. Uh, some people have been there from the get-go, from the beginning, and we just thought we would appreciate them today, that we would talk about how great they are and uh, find out really how little we know about these people. That's what we've uh, gleaned. Yep. So uh, I hope, hope you're feeling thankful and grateful, because we are. Uh, I'm really sick right now, so I apologize. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, are we going to dive right in? Um, I don't see why not. Uh, let's for, let's just kick it off with a big old thank you. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> okay. So. Now that the thank yous are out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get to the people who are not here today. Currently absent from today's filming, but mm. still appreciated for all of the hard work that they mm -hmm. put into it. I'm gonna start off with Bahar, Bo. and I apologize. I'm going. To She's read. not gonna want us to talk about no, her, but I'm gonna talk about her a lot more. So, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna read this because we threw this together about 48 hours ago. Okay. We're professionals. Professionals. Could Bahar could not make it tonight, mm -mm. Uh, but she will get a shout out because we love and appreciate her. Bahar is an old friend that we were able to rope into taking the studio cl uh, <laughs> class here at Open Signal. Yep. And then we were able to get her to manage a camera. She is a great giggler. You can often hear her echoing <laughs> in the back, giggling at whatever uh, weird thing we were planning. She's a painter and a general great caring person to have around. From what I can tell from her Facebook page, she rarely posts anything. Lurker status, Bahar. Yeah. She's yay. She's also really good at doing an Irish goodbye from a party. Yes, yes, she is. Just That's her like, number one go-to move. Where's Bahar? Yeah. Oh, she left like an hour ago. I I I love Bahar deeply. She is so sweet and so caring, and is gonna hate every bit of this entire conversation. Beautiful person. Uh, but she's one of the most beautiful and caring people that I've ever met. So, shout um, out Bahar. Big ol' shout out to Bahar. A.K.A. Yep. B-hole. A.K.A. Bahard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Who's next on our list that you may have <laughs> may or may not have seen on the credits at some point <laughs> in the past two years? Uh, next is, I call him Dave. Dave David? Dave David. I think he prefers Dave. He probably prefers Dave. This shows how much we know about Dave. How did Dave, <laughs> currently absent... Even come to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just in existence. I believe we met Dave uh, walking around PCM wearing a tie-dye World's Best Dad shirt. Uh -huh. I think he just wandered in one day. Um, he's a local VR installation artist from Eastern Washington. Big up, Yakima. He creates analog video art and has some of the chillest vibes <laughs> in Portland. He's yeah. super chill. The chillest. <laughs> Um, hashtag where's Melania, hashtag lizard people, hashtag hollow earth, hashtag flat earth, hashtag Illuminati. Dave helps with setup, camera, and how to basically make our show weirder and weirder. Thus, the background um, was with help from Dave. Yeah. From Dave's face Facebook page, he's very skilled at asking the weird, real questions, uh, alien emoji. UFO emoji, <laughs> dog emoji, poop emoji, 
praise hands emoji. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we met Dave. I'm pretty sure he wandered in. I think the, was like, hey, man, the, what's the going first on? one, I think, was when we worked on the thing with Marie Chestnut Club, yeah, right? He was, yeah, he filmed. Chestnut he, Club. He was a camera guy. Nod with Nod the camera. Nod with the camera. That's there an extension we go. of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. What Nod are you? with the camera. Do better. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we met him there, and then he also just happened to be, be here, here one, one day. day when we were filming. And he's just, just a delight. Just yeah. colorful, like literally colorful, just head to toe in color. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a sweetheart and save the day with knowing computer graphics and computery things. Also, he loves animals. I think we say that about anybody. Sure. But he gets very excited about. <coughs> oh, I'm touching my mic. About all animals. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter. I've never seen him see a picture of an animal without being very, very excited about oh, it. Okay. 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 Just so you know. Okay, so <laughs> next absent, but not from our hearts or minds. No. Um, Steven. Steven. Although he could not be here this evening as he had an important tattoo business to get to. Is that really why? Yes, it's true. He had a tattoo appointment. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't pass that up. No. Uh, it is a fact that his mustache game is on point at all times. All Curly Q. Love it. Um, I know nothing else about Steven <laughs> other than he also wandered in one day and was kind enough to keep showing up. He is Dave's a friend. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's Dave's friend, and I know he knows Marie and Ross, yeah. and, like, that's... <laughs> oh God, we would be lost without all these people. <laughs> so much. He is a mystery man. <laughs> this is also what I wrote. <laughs> Steven randomly shows up to filming and helps with setup, camera, and being ge a general participant in whatever mad idea we have. True. From what I can tell from his Facebook page, is nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, I can't. Like I have no idea. I think he's from California. Because he posts about Monterey or someplace quite a bit. I looked through everybody's profiles because I was sick in bed watching Living Single. I left work early. I had nothing else to do. Might as well stock. But he's very nice. Yeah, he's so nice. He's super he's nice. so nice. Um, I don't know if anybody can tell, but this is an appreciation episode. Did we say that already? Yeah, we're appreciating. <laughs> okay. I think maybe every five minutes or so, we should just be like, thank hey, you. Reminder. Thank we you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you guys. This is all this hard work and days of uh, <laughs> research. Mere minutes of research. for you. <laughs> um, okay, honorable mentions. These are people that... Um, kind of show up when they can and we really appreciate it when they do yeah um honorable mentions are joe make it. joe low who joe was low. who started out here we original have original crew been able to get a baby angel lamb yeah <laughs> um get him back uh tommy swan mm -hmm. again crew has helped out on many episodes yep. um oh how do you abby rincon thank you i've <laughs> got um, and she shows up when she can. She has a great job now. So, yeah. um, and then we forgot Kit. Sometimes, well, she doesn't help with crew, but That's she's cr yeah. often a participant yeah. in our show, and we we be, love her dear, dearly. Yeah, we do. Um, we she's really, do. really creative. All right. She's usually cast. But do you have anything else to add before I keep talking? Um, I don't. Uh, you have a lot more talking to do. All right. So, but, and before that, okay. Now that we're down to the nitty gritty, we've spent a solid nine minutes mm -hmm. talking about those who couldn't make it we are now going to get down to the people who are currently generally in our vicinity in now the building in the building that are currently working on the show you get it um and uh just as a uh, there, there's there's sort of special perks that all of you are getting very little, little perks. This, this is the first one, <laughs> if you can call it that. And uh, uh, we, have, we have the blurbs, we have some games, we have some things, um, but we're gonna kick off these ones with, <laughs> I'm just stalling. Why? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, do, should I do these in order that I was given? Like, cause this one's really funny and this one, this, this ones are more serious. Well, I put them in alphabetical order. Okay. So 
If you change it, that's fine. I can follow you. Do you want to start with one that's not that one? Yeah, so... Which one do you want to start with? Start with Marie. Let's start with Marie. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out. Shout out to Marie. Okay, so I have camera. <laughs> oh, wait. This is what you get first, Marie. Are you okay, ready? go. Just going to look you dead square in the camera eyes as much as I can. This is for you, Marie. Oh, Marie. We met you at that Kate thing Cause she was leaving Cause she was leaving Talked about the show Told you you did not have to watch it <laughs> But you were still interested So you came and checked it out And you've been working since then And we appreciate you Oh, Marie, yes, we appreciate you. Oh, Marie, you work behind the scenes and on cameras. Oh, Marie, what would we do without you? Aww. That was beautiful. <coughs> All right, so I apologize if this information is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Marie comes to us via Florida by way of California through Washington State and showed up at a little after uh, somebody else that we're going to talk about a little later. She is from a traditional winemaking family and drinking, wine drinking family. They have a family wine press. That's one a fact I know about her. What? <laughs> and what I can gather from her Facebook page is she's extremely Italian. <laughs> Not read any of it. Oh, really? <laughs> I did not, I did not really? read it. Okay. One. Okay. So I, th so I was snooping through your Facebook page and I saw that you had a brother and I was like, oh, Marie has a brother. Let's see if he's cute because I'm going to do that. Sure. He has an extremely Italian name. Oh. If it's his real name and uh, <laughs> what's it? How do you say it? Uh, Biagio. He's like the Biagio. 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 Yeah. Pasta bajula. Piaggio. Gabogul. Okay. Sorry. Those are very, very oh, stereotypes. God damn it. Um, she has written a novel that she agonizes over. She writes, produces sketches and shorts and is currently grant writing for Open Signal. Um, Marie helps with cameras and setup. Uh, we lean on her pretty hard for how to execute a show <laughs> yeah. that could pass public access muster. So She is very kind. She, yeah. Okay, so what's the next step after I do my blurb? Now that your blurb is over, we're, she has given us five. I would like to note that she is the only one who gave five. Now, I did tell everyone like four or so. She gave five of these. What are these, you ask? Now I'm going to tell you. There are two truths and a lie. So we have to guess which is the lie. Okay. Uh, which we have to figure out what or what's what. And they're all on topic. So do you want music, jobs, living spaces, art, or special skills regarding Marie? Let's start with special skills. Special skills. All right. Marie has a special skill of identifying and dating antiques. Or, and or, using an industrial mangler. Mangler? Mangler. Or... <laughs> what? say those words that way because i don't know how to pronounce it exactly and so i just figured i'd cover my bases oh it's by all three yep okay uh reading basic spanish so we have to guess which one's the truth or which one's the lie which one is the lie out of all these so oh i i definitely think it's the antiques i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's reading basic spanish oh because I feel like that's pretty simple, and these other ones are complicated. Okay. Okay. So you're saying antiques. I'm saying so reading basic Spanish. Nod yes or no for <laughs> antiques. No, you got to Yeah, there the you go. All right. So, so antiques y is true? true? You do antiques. All right. She, she, how true. about reading Spanish? Yes or no? Do you know how to read Spanish? Oh, me amo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks. All right. No points for anyone, because right. it doesn't We're matter. Gonna... We're just killing time. All right, jobs, music, living spaces, or art. Killing or filling time was another show. Uh, art. Art. 
As a would-be punk art practice, I like doing elaborate drawings on the undersides of tables in public spaces. I once wrote a 40-page fanfic satire about how John Popper would be a pretty good bodyguard. Who's John Popper? I don't know. I have... Blues Traveler? Oh. oh. I have <laughs> sold two different large paint portraits of my nude reimagining of Nikola Tesla and turned down a commission for a third. These are great. These are I great. I really hope they're all true. Okay, uh, your guess first. I'm going to guess the uh, the undersides of tables, painting undersides of tables. I second that. I think that's the lie. Okay. All right. All right. Is painting undersides of tables the lie? Yes. Hey! hey! We're doing great. All right, I'm going to speed through these. I have lived in a bare, this is living spaces. I've lived in a barely remodeled firehouse. I have lived in a river shack. I have lived in a walk-in closet. I would say river shack. Um, I'm going to go river shack as well. Is river shack the lie? Yes. Yay! We're really good at this. Music. I love the music of Jarvis Cocker. I love the music of Bell and Sebastian. I love the music of Bob Seger. Oh, you, you go first. Oh. Um, I don't know who the first one is, so I, maybe I should say the first one. Tony, who's the first one? Oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that she does not love Bob Seger. I love Bob Seger. Oh, damn it. Working on some night moves. Well, your guess was Jarvis. Jarvis. Jarvis Cocker. Is that true? Is that the lie? Or a lie? Oh, oh, you know what? My gut was Belle and Sebastian, but I was all like, mm, no, I get it. I've never heard them. I like one song. Okay, uh, Jobs. I used to be a carpet cleaning. Oh, wait. <laughs> I used to be a carpet cleaning and smoke damage remediation assistant. I can't read today. I used to be a film production assistant for a real estate mogul who was making a vaguely Christian film about the Taliban's presence in Kenya. Or I used to waitress at a steakhouse on the wrong side of the tracks. I don't like this game anymore. I think waitress. Okay. Waitress, is that the lie? That's the lie. Hey! Yay! I like the Christian movie. I think we did pretty good though, overall. Overall, yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ten imaginary points is what Marie said. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ten imaginary points for both of us. Oh wait. Okay. So. Oh yes. My portion. Uh, now, Marie, if you would be so kind as to join us uh, in front of the camera, we have a, a little gift for you. Amanda is going to blindfold herself and write, fill out this certificate of participation, because you see. We think that working on this show is important, to, important enough to get a certificate of participation, but not so important that we need to look at it when we're filling it out. <laughs> I will for signing my name. Did you put the date I on know, it? I know where to put the date. I think I did this all wrong. Okay. It's fine. You're doing great. 118. <laughs> yep. eight, oh, hitting Perfect. the edge of the paper. Here's my signature. I know that Sign goes it. at the bottom. Sign it. All right. Now I got You got to come back to me. I'm gonna hand it to you. I'm gonna sign uh, it here. You left a perfect space for me to sign. Oddly enough, my signature still looks like I was blind blindfolded. But here, I'm just gonna put that there. Here is your official. Oh, <laughs> gonna drop it all. You take that one. Your official. Pee pee or tea? Jesus. <laughs> Tony's yelling about Jesus. <laughs> pee pee or tea, certificate of participation, and ribbon. Yay. Yay! Yay! Thanks for being awesome. Enjoy that for the rest of your life. I'll I'm take those start. back. No, I'll take those oh, back, yeah, and I'll start. take that pen from your tits. There you are. Okay. Next. Next is who? Who do you want to do Ross. next? Ross. Ross is Ross. a... Okay, Ross. so I apologize. Ross. I called a lot of people nerds. Uh, Ross is a Southeast <laughs> Portland nerd that reads tech manuals for fun. 
Uh, we came to meet Ross as he wandered open signal. I assume. I don't remember how we met. And it was, was a Kate's thing. <clears throat> and was in, oh, that was right. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot Ross's song. I'll do it after this. Um, and was intrigued by what we were filming. We came to depend on Ross's knowledge of the switcher and camera work, as well as his skill at picking the summer jam of the year. Every Ross, year. Every year. Uh, Ross works on random public access shows here, improv and sketches. I, I learned today he has a Twitch. Um, he produces shorts and is general man about town. From what I can gather from Ross's Facebook page, he also is skilled at guitar. Guitars? They're, Ross, do you guitar? Do you? Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, okay, because I see pictures <laughs> of him playing with the guitar. Confirmed. Maybe? He could just like modeling with guitars. I don't know. People um, like doing things. <clears throat> He's, he loves doing codes. Not coke. Z yeah, codes. Not codes. <laughs> All okay, right. Do you have a song? I do. This is for you, Ross. Okay. <laughs> get get real tight on cat because I don't do shit during this. <laughs> Ross. 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 We also met you at Kate's thing. And you were so kind and quiet. We talked to you about the show, and you said maybe I'll kind of like it. So you agreed to join our show and be our all official. I don't remember the word, but you do it great. It's the switcher, that's the word, and I forgot. And this is your song of appreciation. All right. Bye. Yay. <laughs> now it's time for Thanks, your Kat. two truths and a lie. Okay, we're at 22. I forgot the word switcher. All right. <laughs> uh, which you did not give topics to, but I did. Childhood. I almost drowned as a child. I've been to five Star Trek conventions. I had an early childhood crush on KOMO TV news personality, Kathy Gortzen. I believe that one is true. I believe that one is true. Let's look at, I look think, at Marie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think the, the, um, uh, the five Star Trek conventions. I agree. I think lie. that's the lie. Is the five Star Trek conventions the lie? It is. I only went to one Star Trek convention. He ah. almost drowned as a child! <laughs> you almost drowned, sucker. All right, <laughs> knockouts. I was a vegan for five years. I believe it. I got my student newspaper shut down. I believe it. I was once beat up by Hillary Swank. I don't believe that. Um, Wait, Hillary Swank smelling like dank? That's a line from a rap song. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, I think the Hillary Swank one. I think the vegan for five years. Okay, which one? Which is it, Ross? Oh, I wasn't beat up by Hillary Swank, although we did grow up in the same town. You, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's from Bellingham. Oh, oh. all right, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> both. Both, 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 both. Uh, the mayor, public image, the mayor of my hometown once condemned me in an official capacity. Ooh. I've been in over five bands. <coughs> my dad was in a bluegrass band. Well, I just learned today that he plays guitar. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh -huh. I believe the bands. I don't think your dad was in a bluegrass band. Oh, well, I'm going to side with Kat just because I don't care. No, that's wrong. He was. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so... Were you not condemned, or were, were you just in one band? No, I've been in a bunch of bands, but the mayor never condemned me. Ah! <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, I did. I really wanted it to be true. All right. Body biz. I can't make myself burp. Me and some kids from school once did a rap to try to get Saddam Hussein to cease hostilities at a talent show. Which kind of makes it sound like he was ceasing, ho like he was at the talent show, hurting people. And they're like, they're yo, like yo, 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 stop it. <laughs> yo, sit down. You better cut it out. Um, or once I had to get hand surgery from too much typing. Oh, God. I don't know. Um, I'm going to... Oh, man. I'm, I like the rap He's one. He's a trickster. I think the rap one is a lie. The rap's a lie. 
Oh, no, that's true. God, good. Please, please, Saddam, don't be lame. We're getting really tired of playing this game. <laughs> Parachute pants. Uh, so, uh, did you not have to get hand surgery? Yeah, I never got hand surgery. All right. All right. I, for some reason, I feel like I remember at some point that you're like, I can't make myself burp. Who's next? Tony or Jacob? Tony. Tony. Tony, you already have so many songs written about you from me. But I guess this one's still appropriate because we're appreciating you. You know that I love you, Amanda loves you, and we've been together for a while. So thank you for signing up for this show and being so good at camera stuff. That, that. <laughs> he loves it. All right. Softy. The, the rhymes. <laughs> okay. These are all improv, you guys. They're great. It's great. It's just like... I'm gonna try and rhyme. Not really. Did it, did it. I did have, I was like, style? Well, I don't like it. I'll just say stuff. <laughs> okay, I apologize, Tony, for this blurb. Uh, Tony is a board game loving, Pokemon hunting, Nintendo DS playing, bearded nerd. He is a husband and handler to Cat and bangs on the drums for the local band Grand for Days. These drums. Album out now. <laughs> he has been a part of our crew from the beginning, and he has managed to work almost every job here, but sticks to the camera and switcher. Other than having a uh, complicated last name to spell, I gather from his Facebook page, he plays the drums. Lots and lots of drums. <laughs> All of his pictures are of him playing a drum of some sort. <laughs> and then posing in a wedding. <laughs> he just gets married and plays Wait, we didn't do a participation oh, for Ross. What idiots we are. Tony, you're going to be interrupted as per usual for Ross's commencement <laughs> of participation. He will get this ribbon. Mm, he and has to come and accept it. Best get his butt out here. Oh, so can't see. Oops, sorry, Jake. It all makes sense. You got it. Cover it up. I'm just gonna stick it in my glasses. Oh, he's running. Okay, I can't remember. Where you I can left come up. stand next to me. P, P or T. You gotta fill it out. My name goes here. Yeah, you got it. Date. Date just at the top Date somewhere. Goes <laughs> to the top. Oh, is it the H? Oh, okay, whatever. Here you go, cat. All right, I'm gonna sign it. Sign it. This so is an official document of thanks. Completely official. There's a seal and everything. And this is my legal signature, if you ever want to steal my identity. Hey, Ross. Thank you, Ross. Thanks, Ross. Okay. Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay, now back to Tony or whatever, I guess. I'm done with my little burb about Tony. I mean, he doesn't rap about Saddam Hussein, but whatever. Who? All right, here are the... Oh, it's the game first. Yep, the game first. And then we're on to Jacob. And I think we're doing pretty good on time. Let's appreciate each other. Sure. We don't do that enough on this show. <laughs> okay. Uh, baseball. I know he's played it. <laughs> I have been a coach. These, these are all very Tony sentences, by the way. I have been a coach. I have been an umpire. I have been a scorekeeper. So I think the lie is the... You know, already know this. I don't. Oh. I don't. He worked really hard to think of stuff that I don't know. I, I don't think he's been a coach. I don't think he's been a coach either. Have you been a coach, Tony? Hey! Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, federal buildings. Remember, these are all his topics. <laughs> I have been to the United Nations. I have been to the U.S. Capitol building. I have been to the White House. <laughs> I, the White House one, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you haven't been to the White House. Have you been to the White House? Hey! Because you guys went to the, like, United, when you were in New York, did you guys go to the United Nations? No. No? No. Okay. We went to see Chris Gethard, and we went to a museum. Okay. That's pretty... And, like, 
Port Authority. Yeah, we Port museum. Authority. Yeah, we to a museum. Port Authority. We did go to Central. Well, we walked by Central Park. We, we walked in Central Park. We walked in like the. By the barely. way, only one person can hear this side of the conversation. That's true. We barely walked in Central Park, but that's about it. Okay. All right. Famous items is this one. <laughs> I have seen Dorothy's ruby slippers. I have seen Fonzie's leather jacket. I have seen Rocky's boxing gloves. <laughs> I like that he's seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so which one's the lie? Um, which one do you think? I think that it's Dorothy's ruby slippers. I'll second I think that. that's the lie. Is that, is that, have you seen Dorothy's ruby slippers, Tony? Oh. You have. Boxing gloves. Have you seen boxing gloves? No. No boxing gloves. You know what? I was a sucker. I thought he had seen them because you were raised so close to Philadelphia. He's from Jersey, everybody. You dickhole. He's from Jersey, everybody. All right, from Southern Jersey, which is much nicer and shouldn't get a bad rap. All right. Crafts is the last <laughs> one. I have used an airbrush. I have used a sewing machine. I have used a loom. <laughs> I have used a loom is the lie. Yeah, I think that's the lie as well. Tony, Tony have, you have you used, used a loom? loom? Oh. <laughs> Please demonstrate right now. <laughs> we have one right here. Right here. Just uh, have you used a sewing machine? What's the other one? You haven't used an airbrush? He hasn't, I would have completely, totally thought you used an airbrush. With the art, the art you background? You sneaky. With all your art bullshit. All right. Let's move on to the funniest blurb. Yeah. Jacob. Well, I don't know. I'm not very funny. I'm glad that I flung that so hard and it just gently fell to the floor. Jacob. Jacob. Do you have a song? Uh, I do. Thanks for asking, Amanda. You're welcome. This is song in appreciation of Jacob. Uh, Jacob works our sound and he's super, super nice and he does it really well and he works really hard and he finds all sorts of things to make noises in our studio. So we laugh and we don't know what to do, but he's really, really pleasant and he's really, really fun and he comes up with ideas, but sometimes we do not use them. We appreciate <laughs> Jacob. We appreciate Jacob. We appreciate Jacob for all that he does. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that was really great, uh, Kat. I, I, or, and Amanda, I have a song for you, too. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Did it not work? Oh, no, it worked. It worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it, it seemed to not work, though. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm, like, I'm like, have I heard this? Yeah, it's like a poor man's Benny Hill. Did we use it's royalty it? royalty-free Benny Hill. We used it. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, did. we yeah, totally yeah. used it. Good old royalty free. Okay, Jacob out. <laughs> well, you have to come back because you have I, to tell us. Stuff. I was waiting for like an owl screeching sound. I, yeah, absolutely. If there's not owls, then why would we recognize it at all? <laughs> there are no bird sounds in a song. Why even listen to it? Ta -da. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is not the funniest thing, but anyway. Jacob is the audio Wait, glue. Wait, Tony needs a certificate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mother. This fuck. was our plan. This is what Tony. I Get over here! Get over here and accept your appreciation. <laughs> I don't know why I like that voice so much. All right, not you, Tony. Tony, not Jacob. Not, it's not, your not turn. Jacob's turn. It's not your turn. Just for the for viewers at home, Jacob just waltz right in, like he fucking owns the place. God damn it! I can turn your sound down. I basically own the place. <laughs>
happens when you volunteer for our show, viewers? You get some paper. It doesn't stick to anything. No, but... You but get a ribbon that I worked on. Yeah, that cat has funky scissors for. I do. I have fun scissors. Oh, Tony's going to show it off. Yeah. Hey. It's just blurry. Look at that. Sweet, sweet craftsmanship. Marie just keeps falling to it. Look at this behind the scenes shot. Woo! I am Tony. <laughs> I have seen the, <laughs> the ruby slippers. I have seen, <laughs> seen the closet jacket. I have used the loot. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. Back to Jacob. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jacob is the audio glue that holds this whole mess together. We basically conned him into learning the soundboard, and now he will not leave. <laughs> he holds his power over us with tyrannical madness. As seen. An unhinged sparkle in his eye is the only direction we get as to what this <laughs> evil genius has in store for our, sh our show. Help. Please help us. <laughs> if I say it pleasant enough, he will not notice. Don't. Look at the viewers. <laughs> Help! <laughs> we try so hard to please Jacob, but every episode we seem to anger him more. Thank God for Andrew and Lykaika for taking most of his brutality. <laughs> That's true. That's from, true. From what I gather from his Facebook page, he likes cats. That's also true. All right. All right. Well, let's find figure out what's a lie. This whole thing. <laughs> Number one, physical. Oh, yeah, these are ones I named. Oh. I, I picked these. Physical. I've never had a cavity. I excelled at dodgeball in elementary school. I was a jaundiced infant. I believe the jaundiced infant <laughs> is true because we had a whole conversation about it because yeah. I, too, was a jaundiced infant. Hashtag <laughs> yellow eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag yellow life. Um... I want to say that he's that uh, he's never have a, had a cavity is a lie. That's what okay. I think I want to say because I want to believe that he's good at dodgeball. Me too. Okay, Jacob, Jacob, have you had a cavity? Never. Oh, <laughs> uh, were you bad at dodgeball? I was. I was passable at dodgeball. But you were. I, enjo I enjoyed dodgeball <laughs> in elementary school. I was not. I did not excel at it. All right. Okay, so that's the lie? That's the lie. Okay. He did not excel. All right. This next... <laughs> this <laughs> that's such a weak lie. This next, <laughs> this next category is buffness, is what I think. <laughs> buffness. <laughs> I could bench press more than my body weight 10 years ago. I have <laughs> never been in a fist fight. I achieved the level yellow belt in the dubiously ancient Korean martial art of Hua Rang Do. Okay. Do. Hua Rang Do. I never uh, claimed to be able to read. <laughs> what one do you think? Um, I'm going to say fist fight because... You think he has been in a fist fight? I think he's been in a fist fight. Okay. Have Have you been in a fist fight, Jacob? Is that hey! Yeah. 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 Violence. Yeah. Mainly because I knew that he used to work. He He used to work out a lot more. What happened? More important <laughs> things. All right. Uh, this next topic that I wrote is nerdery. Marie, can you move? <laughs> we appreciate you doing everything but please move please your goddamn body move. out of the way so we can see more important things behind you <laughs> can i interrupt real quick yes i just wanted to point out that um i know this is sort of a confession um oh i know that i've sort of um kept up an image as as a, a frightening powerfully strong man Help. Um, Help. But the truth is that I'm just flexing all the time. <laughs> just constantly tense. Yeah, constantly in all yeah. muscles. Yeah. Yeah. So what, ex what explains the attitude and brutality? <laughs> I'm bitter about not being able to lift my own body weight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Help. This one's nerdery. 
Capcom released Mega Man 3 in 1990 with a character suspiciously similar to the one I had designed and mailed to them. Or... God damn it, I want that to be true. <laughs> I once conceived... Oh, I once convinced... Not conceived. conceived. <laughs> I once convinced a co-worker to steal a piece of rubble from the Acropolis of Athens for me. Or... I played Darth Vader in a classroom production of Star Wars. I think the Star Wars one's a lie. I agree. Were you Darth Vader? I was so Darth Vader. Oh! <laughs> uh, because we want the Capcom one to be real, did you convince a coworker to steal from ruins? I did. I was joking, but she did it anyway, and that's super illegal. So that is. Give her name, her full name. Full name. Address. Birth date. <laughs> so. Sh- <laughs> Holy shit. So okay, so the Capcom is totally fake, and you just wanted us to Man, get our hopes up. That's yep. fine. Fuck you. It's fine. The final one is Bones. I love that show. <laughs> I watched all of Bones. <laughs> all of Bones. Uh, my parents put me... What? Parents put me in Bones. This is what it says. My, I didn't realize it said this. My parents put me college paleontology lectures when I was six. Okay. Number two. Oh. <laughs> Are they all just hot mess sentences? <laughs> no, it's just words. <laughs> Go ahead. You know them. <laughs> Ankylosaurus was my favorite dinosaur. Was. Let's note that he said was. Or finally, I have. Or finally, I have never broken a bone. Uh, that's not true, right? Um, I, I. Go ahead. I want to say that Ankylosaurus was. Yeah, I think Ankylosaurus is your favorite dinosaur. Son of a bitch. Jacob. <laughs> the side of my Are you face. saying that the lie is that um, I'm still... suggesting that it's no longer my favorite? Yes. yes. That's a really weak lie. Um, <laughs> well. That was not, that is not the lie. All right. All right. Um, then I would say uh, my parents put me college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tactically, yeah, you're right. That's, that's not true, but they did put me in a college lecture. Of All right, so you have broken a bone. I have broken a bone. All right, fair enough. Thank you for recognizing the theme that I did actually intend. <laughs> in <that last> <laughs> Man, we just—I feel like this has just been a show of how much we want them to have these wonderfully fantastical lives. Yeah, but turns out it's just Tony saying he's used a loom. <laughs> Let down. All right. For this final little bit, no, will you just not? No, in? participation. <gasps> you are absolutely my one, correct, Jacob. My one bit that I came up with this morning. Yeah, oh, that should be noted. We Jacob did this. Jacob like, boy. You're Jacob and a boy. <laughs> I worked. This is how I broke the bone. Oh, slipping? Uh, nobody can hear you. So Jacob says he slipped on a magazine when he was four, and that's how he broke. Which bone was it, Jacob? Uh, one of my legs. One of his legs. The whole bone? There's more than one bone. Uh, the, the, the femur. Oh, femur. femur. That shit body fucks cast. you up. What? Oh, body, body cast. Body yaddy yaddy. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm going to sign it to make it official. Aww. And just stand directly in front of the camera. <laughs> da, 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 Give it up for our crew, everybody! Yay. Does that ca- count as a call to action? Nope. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Well, I gotta give that back to the front desk. I mean, we will. All right. Okay, what's the next game? Because I don't understand it, and we didn't really talk about it. This next game was uh, via, well, it was via Tony because I came up with it and then asked Tony to do it because I couldn't. Um, Tony comprised a, oh, he just corrected Tony or Kat, and now Kat's mad, and that's the backstory for this look (laughs) currently. 
Um, Tony comprised, I don't care if I'm using it wrong, maybe I'm taking back the word. Tony comprised a bunch of uh, things. These are all facts about everyone. These are all true facts about all four people that are working our crew right now. We are <sighs> going to try to figure out who these, these facts apply to. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll kick it off. Go for it. I list chrome as my favorite color. Who do you think? Ooh. And you can guess mine and I'll guess yours. Go ahead. Ooh. And it's the only four that are working only here. Only four that are working here. Whose favorite color is chrome? Jacob? Jacob, is your favorite color chrome? No. <laughs> what, no sound effect? <laughs> I'll make a subsequent guess and say Marie. Yay! Hey! All right. Okay. Your turn. Your turn. I tested into kindergarten at age five. Is that a... What? Isn't that normal? That's super normal. That's super normal. Tony, did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I'm funny. like, what's normal? I'm like, that's just fucking... God damn it. <laughs> We're just going to get mad at everybody that we appreciate. I has a cousin <laughs> who lives off the grid. <coughs> I has a cousin who lives off the grid. Ross? Is it Ross? Ross? Is it Ross? No. God damn it. Okay. Who the fuck has a cousin? Marie? <laughs> Don't you guess it's going to be always Marie. Okay. Okay, by the way... <laughs> I currently has a storage unit in Santa Rosa, California. <gasps> That's Ross. Ross, do you have a storage unit? Yeah. It almost got burned, but it didn't get burned. He but has a storage unit in Santa Rosa, <laughs> California. Sorry, that's just a fun accent. Okay. Uh, I. <laughs> Why did Tony? Did you write these? No. This is what happened. Let me explain. Tony sent me. This person, dot, 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 and then all of them were dot, 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 then a thing. I, not thinking and trying to make it a little bit nicer, just put in find and replace dot, dot, dot with I space. So, oh. <laughs> so it goes, it goes <laughs> Ross, dot, 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 currently has a storage unit in Santa Rosa. Right, okay. but it doesn't act, didn't actually have his name on it, or <laughs> Ross's name on it. Okay. All right. I like, I is. Yes. Try this accent. I, yes. It's a Zach Galifian. I had their U.S. history grade changed from an F minus. That doesn't exist. To an F after a mother intervened. Yeah, first of all, F minus. Is that a thing? That's not. Apparently it is, according to this fact. So, who do you think uh, got an F after their mother intervened? Jacob? Jacob? Man, that was a snap decision, and it's so right. <laughs> <laughs> How right. are you getting an F minus? And in history, okay, uh, we're talking about this later. I is a member of <laughs> ten plus secret <laughs> Facebook groups. Ten plus secret secrets, secrets. My ever loving secrets. Have you ever seen Highway? No. Okay. Secrets. <laughs> um, you know what? Based on the boringness of that, I'm going to say Tony. Tony, are you in 10 secret Facebook All groups? All right. I'm going to, it's going to be Marie. <laughs> Guess Marie. Marie? It's a little bit boring. <laughs> it is you, though. Is it you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, <laughs> it was always Marie. Okay, Okay. Ahead. I won a teacher shank shanked. I won a teacher-sanctioned bet with a classmate who had to serve detention as a result of their loss. That's real-life shit right there. I didn't understand the sentence. So they had a, uh, a bet with a classmate. Okay. And uh, it was okayed by the teachers. Okay. 
And the result was the classmate losing and having to go to ten detention. Oh, shit. That mm -hmm. sounds like a Jacob or a Ross. Which one do you want? What one do you want? I would vote Ross. Let's do vote. Ross. Ross. No, I don't know what that, any of the things you just said are. <laughs> can, can I make a yeah. guess separate? I think it's Tony. <coughs> Is it Tony? Is it Tony? Yeah. You were a dick as a kid. He was a dick. I diffused a situation with a self-described violent person as he lovingly stroked a large knife whilst talking about using it. What? I diffused a situation with a self-described violent person as he lovingly stroked a large knife whilst talking about using it. God damn it. All I want to do is say Jacob or Ross, and I don't know if that's right. It's going to be Marie. <laughs> it's going to be Marie. <laughs> Let's just kick it off. Marie? Marie? No. no. Okay. okay. Well, um, then uh, I will guess. Andrew's not here. Andrew's not here. I would guess that Andrew. would be the proper uh, thing. I would guess. I'm going to guess Ross. Ross? Ross? No. Oh, it was, it was Jacob. It was Jacob. Wasn't Jacob. It? it was Jacob. Jacob. <gasps> no, it's Tony? What? When was he that? was a dick as a kid. <laughs> was it you lovingly stroking the knife? Yeah. yeah. I'm confused by your phrasing is really what the issue is. Can I look at it real yeah. quick? So he was diffused a situation of a guy lovingly stroking a knife while talking about probably stabbing people. It was probably at Plaid Pantry. Yes there or is no? A, no? Damn. What I really need Use to Use the camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What I really need to say is that uh, you could have phrased that better. Jesus, why are you so mean to Tony? He agrees with me. Yep. As right. is a member. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I fear. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, whoever this is, I just feel bad about it. Uh, feared their uncle who had allowed rumors to fly about his alleged escapades eating babies with a shovel. That sounds like Jacob. Or Marie. Or Ross. Or maybe Tony. I think it might be Marie. Is it Marie? I don't know. Marie, is that you? No. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm with you. Um, I will... Man, none of these have been Ross, I feel. Except I'm... for the storage. <laughs> Except for the storage <laughs> facility. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's, let's guess Ross. No. <laughs> Jacob, is this you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your uncle. Weird uncle eating babies. Tony rephrased it and made it sound way darker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to skip one because I just want to read the next one. Yeah. I tried to maim classmates using witchcraft. Marie. Marie? Damn it. Is it Ross? <laughs> is it Ross? No. <laughs> gave us one topic, one thing. <laughs> what thing? <laughs> fucking storage unit. It, I think it had to have been Jacob then. Is it Jake? Yeah, because Tony would not have been allowed Jacob, to even do any of that. Were you a Wiccan? Okay. I tried to be, and I also tried to uh, murder Saddam Hussein through <laughs> similar means. Rap music? Um, Rap music? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, witchcraft. 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 Got <laughs> it, got it. Uh, I don't believe the state of Indiana exists. <coughs> Who does not believe in the state Ross. of Indiana? Ross. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> if he's just saying no to all of the ones that are there, why are you sh <laughs> like you're visibly shaking it? How like? I don't know. This is a fun game. <laughs> Nobody's winning. I'm having a great time. <laughs> 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 you're so mad about it. You, okay. you're, the, okay. you're learning a lot from these kids that you look after. <laughs> Shaking in fists. <laughs> Who is it? Um, let's say Marie. Marie. Yay! <laughs> State of Indiana. What's the next one you got? Uh, I briefly considered jumping when stuck on a cliff face mid climb. I'm gonna say Ross. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. 
<laughs> is it Marie again? Who the fuck's climbing rock? Is it Tony? Wow. Oh, okay. I, I thought Tony, but I was like, it's one of these has to be fucking Ross. Right? Well, two of them. Okay. <laughs> I hate the Hawthorne Bridge. <laughs> Ross! Ross, Ross, Ross! Yeah, fuck that bridge. <laughs> ah, yes! Finally! <laughs> yes! You need a bigger noise for the fact that we just figured out a Ross thing. Okay, I got a couple minutes fuck, left. Yeah. Um, uh, can I read this last Absolutely. one? Absolutely. I has a grandfather who wrote and self-published a book called uh, Boliv Bo Bolivar and the Blind Tribe, a Christian uh, allegorical novel about a primitive people who were born with calcifications covering their eyeballs. Marie! <sighs> Ross? Ross? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Tony? Um, it's Jacob. Yeah, it's it's Jacob. Calcification. You got a weird grandpa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I list baby oil as their favorite lotion. <sighs> Jacob, maybe. You want to guess Jacob? No, I don't. Who do you want to guess? Who, who do you want to guess? I think Ross. Ross? Is it Ross? Guess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's at we're at fifty six. Uh, do you? I have. Let me. Uh, you want one more? I have two. I have two more to read. I have a lot more, but I'm not gonna do All right. it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll read this one. Uh, I has a great grandfather who ran a general store in Arkansas. I was about to say AK in Arkansas, thirty five miles. You're fucking Alaska. Shut up, Tony. In Alaska, 35 <laughs> miles away from where Donald Trump's grandfather ran a restaurant slash brothel in British Columbia. So uh, somebody's great grandfather ran was in Alaska. To Tony? No. No. Ross. Hell yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's say thank you. To everybody. Do you want to do a song about our show, Improvise, as we say goodbye to everybody? Thank you so much. Absolutely, I do. For being here. Thank, Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you, everyone of our crew. Everyone that will view this and other things that we've done. Thank you. We've worked so hard to make these things, but sometimes not so hard. But we do it semi-consistently. We keep the themes. We try our best and so... That's the song. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Where's our ending music? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crew. Ain't worth a good goddamn.